Hey guys, how's it going? In this video we're going to look at the gold leaf electroscope, so let's get started. Now in the previous theory video we saw the photoelectric effect, but we're now going to look at how to demonstrate the photoelectric effect using apparatus. So we can use something called the gold leaf electroscope to do this. So it says here that a gold leaf electroscope can be used to investigate the photoelectric effect. As shown below, the electroscope consists of a metal plate, a metal rod and a gold leaf. So this is the basic setup here, so our metal plate's on the top, this is connected to the metal rod inside this device, and we've got a little gold leaf inside that can move. We've then got a protractor here which can be used to measure the deflection of the gold leaf. It then says initially the metal plate on the electroscope is given a negative or positive charge using a polythene or acetate rod respectively. So you can do something called charging by induction, which is by taking a polythene or acetate rod and rubbing it with a cloth, and then by bringing your charged rod close to the metal plate, touching the metal plate with your finger, then taking your finger away and then taking the rod away, that will induce a charge on the metal plate. And you can use either of these rods depending on which charge you want to give the plate. It then says that a deflection of the gold leaf on the electroscope shows that the metal plate is charged. So right now in this picture you'll see that the gold leaf is deflected and that means that the metal plate has a charge on it. And in our discussions we're going to consider the metal plate on the electroscope being negatively charged. It says that when visible light is shone onto the metal plate, it is found that the electroscope does not discharge. This means that the photoelectrons are not ejected from the surface of the metal. So when any visible light, it could be red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo or violet light, when that is instant on the metal plate here, we're seeing that photoemission does not take place when the metal plate is negatively charged. And that means that the gold leaf here will stay deflected, it won't move closer to the metal rod, it will stay where it is. It then says that when ultraviolet light is shone onto the metal plate, however, it does discharge, indicating that photoelectrons are ejected from the surface of the metal. So we know that electrons have been emitted from the metal plate when the gold leaf here loses some of its deflection, when it moves closer towards the metal rod. And that means it's discharging as negative electrons are being lost from the metal rod and the metal plate. And it explains why this happens. So this result can be explained by the photoelectric effect. We saw earlier that for photoemission, i.e. the emission of photoelectrons to occur, the frequency of the instant photons must be greater than something called the threshold frequency, and we'll see more on this later, but it's kind of just like a minimum frequency that you need to reach in order for the photoemission to take place. So any frequency of light below this threshold frequency will cause no photoemission to take place. It then goes on to say that ultraviolet light has a higher frequency than visible light and it just so happens that its frequency is greater than the threshold frequency for the type of metal used here, so electrons can be emitted from the metal surface. Lastly, it says to note that the above was found for a negatively charged electroscope. If a positively charged electroscope is used, no photoelectrons are emitted from the metal surface. And remember that's because even though the electrons might be given enough energy from the instant photons to be emitted from the material, the positively charged metal surface is going to attract those negatively charged electrons back down to the surface, so they're not going to be able to leave the surface because of that attraction. And it then says in general, it is found that an electroscope will only discharge if it is negatively charged and the instant light is of a sufficiently high frequency. So it tends to be that we need ultraviolet light and a negatively charged metal plate for photoemission to occur. Now I'll just show you a quick simulation to help you understand the gold leaf electroscope. So here we have an example of an electroscope, and it's not necessarily a gold leaf electroscope here, but we could think about this part here as being our gold leaf. Now you see we've got a negatively charged metal plate on the top, and then we've got our metal rod, and let's just say this is our gold leaf here. So if we have photons of red light instant on the metal surface, you see there's no loss in the deflection of the gold leaf, it just stays where it is. Whereas if we use ultraviolet light, one photon of ultraviolet light will cause the emission of one electron to be emitted, and therefore the gold leaf has lost some of its deflection it's been discharged slightly. If we then fire another ultraviolet photon, the deflection gets even smaller. And that's because another electron has been emitted from the surface. And you'll see that if we keep shining ultraviolet light on the metal plate, then the deflection of the gold leaf will get to a point where it's just completely undeflected, i.e. it will become completely discharged and just flop down next to the metal rod. Now instead of a gold leaf electroscope, we could also use something called a coulometer to show the discharge. So the coulometer looks something like this, where it will just give us a reading of the charge on the surface of the metal plate. So right now we've got a value of minus 8.0 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs, and again if we shine red light on the metal surface, you'll see that the value on the coulometer is undeflected. 
unchanged. So that tells us that no discharge is taking place. Whereas if we've got ultraviolet light instant on the metal surface, again electrons are going to be emitted, so our reading will become less negative, i.e. it's going to get closer and closer to zero as more of the negative charge is discharged. So if we keep shining ultraviolet photons on the metal surface, you'll see eventually it will get to a point where it's completely discharged. So just to summarise, we can use a gold leaf electroscope or a coulomb meter to show the photoelectric effect, and photoemission, i.e. the emission of electrons from a metal surface, will only happen when the metal surface is negatively charged and when we're using ultraviolet light, because ultraviolet light has a frequency greater than the threshold frequency of most metals. That's all for this video folks, thanks for watching, if you made it to the end I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.